consider numbers aren't great, but he's getting some impact for his team. Zantera's going to open things up. That's a great find. Two bullets spent, one kill, one headshot. And Zantera. Going to be playing short. Dennis goes into the open. A couple of players spotted heading towards short position. Kallax is going to drop a little further back. In the meantime, Zantara is elsewhere, getting another kill here for Eternal Fire. And the start of this pistol is looking damn good for the Turkish squad. Ooh. They're getting absolutely destroyed, Bat Boom. They don't get through short at all. No, they, I mean, really, this pistol round didn't, didn't go anywhere. From the opening kill from Zantara's, the lurking window is neutralized by Zantara's as well for his second kill. And obviously, shut. that could actually turn this into a round. They're all starting to converge, and there's Wakadia from Catwalk. On Nuke, Wakadia had a 2.0 rating, so definitely can be the, the bane of their existence. And in this round, it will be Woxic with an MP9. So Glocks are nice and easy to melt away. The MP9's got some money. Glocks is going back in for more. And Danist is gone. So 2-0 start here. That's all kind of works. <laughs> Zorte with the headshot of Wakadia, though. That is going to take the opening kill here for Eternal Fire. Zorte makes his way through short, but the rest of his teammates stay fixated upon this A bomb site. Now, hard clear from Chiron does not go the way of Bet Boom. This T side are losing lives every second that ticks on. Majiro was the play to last strike out, and Kalix is now stepping up to that mark. Siren last alive, 1v4 in front of him. Oh, what? Hello. What was that shot from Woxic? He just jumps up on that default. Woxic tries to get that shot through the top smoke. Again, it's going to be a commitment for Bet Boom straight through, and Woxic did get it through the smoke in the end. And here comes the execute for Bet Boom. Their goal in this round is to try and secure a bomb plan, essentially, try and get some money out of this, but. Doesn't look like that mercy is going to be given on over. There's a reality today that Bet Boom just get absolutely destroyed by Eternal Fire because, you know, Eternal Fire. One's still kind of stuck at the A bomb site. So, Major, ooh, there's the spot. Nate in hand. He's going to drop it. He's got support from Catwalk. Yeah, Nate goes in, softens up the first couple of players. Siron even takes his teammate down with Kadia chiming in. And we quit. Kadia's off to a flyer today. Nafany finally strikes through middle, but. And really haven't got a whole lot of ground here. Zorte still stuck in the apartments. They can't get into the B-bomb site. Bet Boom realized this round is not going anywhere. Yeah, I thought maybe Nafany could have opened up the Not until route. this kill. Oh, he's going to open up Catwalk. Yeah, that's a big kill to find. Now it is reopened. Flick back to the connector. He had to win that fight against Kalix. And because he doesn't, it is now the Zorte save against does not connect towards ticket and now the alert system is there for eternal fire they realize there's an attack towards the a bomb site centara is quick to peek out quick kill on dennis and then gets behind cover to change his position because he knows he's got teammates inside of the site itself and calyx was favored to win that duel but doesn't against siren so it has given bet boom somewhat of a chance but that chance is about to be pulled cruelly from their fingers because wakadia he's got the flank in the bomb drop towards the ramp and the op will fall with it they line up in sandwich and zantara's cleans up for an Eternal Fire, sixth round. And an opportunity to inflict damage. And even though they're kind of crunching onto this A-bomb site, it's one player in different choke points. Nafany pulls that kill back, and he's speeding up through B. Madger's in position to watch the apartments leak. And that bomb is still poised for the eight attack. Siren needed that one. That was such a great opportunity to stack them up. Centaurus and walks it coming closer. Chiron's cleared. Information gathered upon the peak, and it's just Siren left alone. First headshot's good. Couldn't quite stomach Centaurus. And Eternal Fire continue this flow. And making, making Bet Boom uncomfortable. Oh, Nafany spots them out. Smoke reveals three players, and there's just too many targets to select. Good headshot from Siren. Needed at least that one, but these smokes have faded away, and the bomb is. Is still not down. Important kills from Bet Boom to draw this into an equilibrium once again. Three vote for kills. You've got to slink your way into the site. Madra hits the first one off the top of Tetris, but it isn't going to be enough to close it. It has to fall to Zantaras, and he nearly flicked back. He nearly got that second player. It's going to shift over. Oh, Madra, common position, cleared out by the Molly. Good utility here for Bet Boom. Throws this defense into disarray because once they can hold together, now it's separated into individual fights. Woxic had to make that rotation over, and that's when Nafany has the freedom to strike, and he does exactly that. The bomb is staying committed towards B, and there's 20 seconds left. They can't go anywhere else. It has to go into the B bomb site, and you have to get rid of Wakadia, and he is standing so tall. Another headshot. Chiron finally trades it out, and with 12 seconds, you got to leap into the site with a bomb. You have to start planting, and there's just no time to do it. Nafany stuck in murder hole he and he's this. running to try and die after the time or get the final kill to win the round and the time has run out so it's about staying up here for Daphne and he goes down after time fortunately at 2k in the bank and ups for them all to come back to this Turkish team and start making it work is absolutely wonderful and a lot of it comes down to just finding this diamond in the rough Wakadia.
I couldn't believe it. Yeah, the fact that Wakalia came into the team because of the history of Eternal Fire, we thought it was just going to be another player inside of this team. He'd probably be kicked in a few months' time, and we wouldn't really expect the improvements of Eternal Fire. But I think his first event out really impressed everyone. And then they came back into the start of the season in Katowice, and I think they brought a level that no one was ready for. Yeah. Okay, Wakati is a little bit caught. I'll correct myself on an earlier mistake as well. That was the third time out used by Bed Boom. They've now burned through all of them in regulation, so really trying to find the solution. Oh. And over in Cubby, Kalix is waiting. Man, Eternal Fire. It's, it's easy. There's no there's no competition right now. Bet Boom are not able to go up against Eternal Fire's defense. They put up an absolute wall, and Bet Boom cannot break through it. Even the round that they won was nearly a ridiculous flick transfer from Zantara's. They could have just picked that up for Eternal Fire. So so many resources in terms of... That's your last smoke that's about to deploy right now. Molotov in a flashbang. In a prayer. Yeah, let's see if that works out for them. Good kill from Danist up towards Ticket. Second kill through the smoke is even better on Zantaras, and suddenly it is the Kalix Factor up on top of the wood. Ooh, it's long, it's labored, and it's not the kill for Kalix. Suddenly, Bat Boom, given the worst position in the round, find themselves ahead. 3v2. Nathan, he's still going to make he's it the with bomb, bomb carrier, and he has to win this fight, and that's exactly what will happen. Wakadia goes down at short side, leaving Madra in a 1v3. Two players damaged up. There's still a very, very difficult clutch ahead of him. Absolutely, especially because he's not going to turn this corner with any kind of great timing to catch Nafani's movement to a new position who's just going to be hidden underneath the balcony. Everyone from Bet Boom just hiding in a corner waiting for the tap. They're going to let Nadra take the first move. There's the kill on Nafani. No one pounces just yet. Smoke, and that might be his only chance. Gets into it, Mazur taps, trying to pull those shots out, but no one's spamming just yet. Eventually they will, and he's brought down a second player low, but Siren needed to nail that one. A P250 on Waxic as well. Jumping out at Zorte with the headshot. Straight away, second is cleaner. And oh my god, Zorte, that's exactly what Bet Boom ordered. He's not missing out on anything. All the trimming. Zorte running out of bullets now, but he's definitely had the effect of the round on him already. Kalix pulling it back, though, straight away. Off the top of Tetris. It's only only Kalix, though, and Danis comes in to clean up, and Zorte with some clean headshots. Self-belief, too. He can do it with a new project. He's capable of bringing players all the way again. But They're going to try and fake this, but it's going to get shut down entirely. This is meant to pull some people over to the B bomb site so the bomb can hop out Palace, and already Danis has just said, no, nah, that's it. Call him back. Zorti's ready and waiting. Bomb ain't even going to have access. They know it's there. Madra with one more kill. Connector, such limited time. They've got to be so effective in getting these kills. And Madra, he locks it in. And they know exactly where Siren is, but Zantaras cannot make it work. That would have been... He's dead right away. Chiron. Oh, it's a crazy play from Chiron. And that's given a chance for Woxic to make his way through short. So now this attack from Eternal Fire can be two-pronged. They come through apartments, charge through short. Rotation's coming yeah, in. Is. And the rotation is getting destroyed. Wakadia doubles up. Siren on... Upset team. That's kind of where they've been stuck at over the years. This is the first lineup, as you mentioned, that can actually be dangerous in a series. Ooh. Down too early. Yeah, that's a real rough start here for Eternal Fire, but fantastic for Bet Boom. I mean, the fact you have weaker weapons here, and you're able to walk away with an AK, you're, you're able to steal slipping his way down towards bottom connector. Oh my god, what can you even do about that if you're Nafany? But <laughs> he offers his life up immediately as an apology. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's so crazy. When you jump like that and you're like, oh god, There's I wanna, a boost. I want to get off this ride. Yeah, I want to get off it right away. Zorte Underwood gets cleared by Kalix. Important timing to go the way of Eternal Fire. You mentioned just moments ago this is recoverable now it certainly is yeah but Kalix has got to hold on to this bomb site by himself for yep. so long flash just... goes over as well Danis he's held back because he doesn't want to swing alone he knows he's got his teammate beside him quite quickly and there's not really a comfortable spot to plant because eternal fire don't have a smoke and just like that they line up I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's impossible to break through right now so you've got to focus on the ramp play instead if you're eternal fire this is where your success is going to come from if there is any success Major's managed to get through calm, but there's too many players watching it. So he can't get past the eyes of Zorte. They're always watching. They're always in his sight. And Kalix having to rattle away the Galil. It's two, but he's down. And Bet Boom are able to put a couple together. That's a hands. Uh, Major going down in underpass is certainly the start that Bet Boom would have been looking for. But what? What can Zantara see that I can't? The Terminator's got some upgrades. And straight through the smoke, he takes a headshot. Well, Kalia nearly gets a double transfer on the van. 
very fortunate for Batboom to be able Especially because his support is all the way over towards Ticket. And he's low. He's very low here. So instant body shots, and he's out of there. So Tarez breaks open that B bomb site. Now decisions for Batboom. And again, this comes back. I think they have to save this. I don't know if they can go for this. Uh, Siren still hasn't moved. I think they're waiting to see if there was going to be a fake, if the bomb was going to hop out of Palace. And for the moment, they're investigating the opportunity. So if, if Zorzi doesn't get a kill, they're going to have to make this decision. It's always tough to concede map point. You never really want to have to do it. So Zorte is going to see if there's a mistake, if there's a chance, and there's no kills coming his way. Eternal Fire playing very disciplined here, and they've left no option on the table. Bet Boom have to save. They have to fall back. Their chances will come in the later round, but for Eternal Fire... Zorte desperately hanging around. Nafani goes back for a double dip, and he gets punished. Nice attempt. Smoke to cover as well. Just missed all the shots, unfortunately. Yeah, a utility coming in now, too, for Eternal Fire, but important kills coming in from the side of Beth Boom. Chiron, he misses that. Sorta has to step up in his step. Oh, no, he's going to go back to Ticket. Waxix got the bomb, and he's separated away from his teammate. If they stay together, potentially yeah. a chance to walk to B. There's trade potential there, but with the bomb down, you've just cost yourself the round. I'm really confused by that. I don't know why they would have split up. I can't even think of a logical reason unless uh, misunderstanding between the two of where they were headed, but that's a massive... This rotation to come in, so... The worst-case scenario is no longer available, but it could get pretty rough for them. Centaurus again with a headshot on that hero AK-47. That flank can't come fast enough. Chiron defense from Ticket Box, and the flank is done by Danis. He's worried about Palace. Oh, footsteps. And now footsteps. the steps being made. Kallax is completely ready for this now. The Deagle waiting to unleash hell upon Danis the flank, but Zorte comes to check it. He draws that attention away. The flank is now activated once more and Zantaris is trying to separate these fights. Big headshot on ramp. Now they've got a flank. Wox is coming around CT, but it's not even needed. Zantaris with the most filthy mechanical skill you'll ever see. And Zorte now left in a 1v1. Smoke deployed onto that defuse and he's going to hold it. He's going to stick it all the way through Woxic. Hits the shot and it's closed just like that. Eternal fire. It's going to be really interesting to see if Bedboom can actually contain him and hold him back. They're going to charge right into him in this round. He stands tall with Ooh. the duelies. They don't get any wide swings. He's done damage. A lot of bullets, but only one kill. Yeah, you were expecting Santoros to back a double kill there at least. Just the one. Some relief for Bet Boom off the back of that. Early rotations from Eternal Fire in towards A, and it might cost Ooh. them because Siren's come through middle. And oh, he's been spotted. Madra sees it. Siren jumps on down to safety. Nafani's still staying committed towards this A bomb site as Eternal Fire take a few steps back. This is a sick play from Nafani. He's going to have a lurk on the, on the bomb site. They're just leaving. They might not Walks expect it, but it. Walks it's chilling. Yeah. Walks it's there, and he's got it. And oh. now Siren's got to stand tall and everything to do. And the bomb has just been lost in transition. Yeah, and it actually might still get away with the plant because Dennis has a smoke he'll use that up for the bomb site towards elevator he'll commit to the bomb plant on default so at a minimum it's a bomb plant for Dennis which means a good force buy in the next round for bet boom and it wasn't looking like they were going to have even that but now he goes forward now that tag should confirm his position you know exactly where he is so he starts sending bullets back through land some of his own but eternal fire stay composed they know they should win this retake They've got a kit, they've got extra seconds to play with, and unless there's just a flurry of headshots, the shoot still go the way of Eternal Fire. And that's a heap of damage on multiple players, and now Chiron is damaged up. Moving through into Sun Tower as he finishes off his earlier job, and this fight is short, it's awkward, but it's all Eternal Fire. Dan is gone, Zorte now the last remaining player, and this force fight gets absolutely nowhere. It's stopped at the top of the ramp. Yeah, just decimated. Absolutely, 2022, like the end of it, where he was cut in October and rejoined in November like two or three weeks later because they were like oh yeah we've everyone's basically had it yeah, go that's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying like they've tried so many different combinations of players to find the best Turkish team possible and they finally found so cute 25 seconds Wakadi inside of the smoke they run past him he's gonna hear those steps and he has to make up for it because his teammates are dying but the limited time he could deny the bomb plant he could get a double and that's exactly what he'll get Woxic denies any sort of chance of picking that bomb up once again and Siren is in a 1v3 they know with the limited time all they have to do is keep it uncomfortable keep him away and now stay alive because there's not enough time to recover that bomb and the round is done. Eternal Fire can thank Wakadia for stepping up. Zentara's died early on ramp, and Wakadia makes up for everything. Chomp, chomp. Fall away after a kill. Moxic does fall away. Throws down utility. Realizes they probably got a swing, and that AK goes down. Kallax comes over, and destruction in middle thanks to the shotgun and the rifle support. So, Bet Boom don't get through despite a couple of rifles in their hands.
Nafany and Danis are now left in a 2v4, and they're separated from one another. Nafany does pick up that AK-47 off the cold, dead body of his teammate. He saw Major. He knows he's there. Okay, so he's going to track him. He's going to get closer. But he's now detected from construction. So Major had that one covered. That's the only risk he really had to take. That, that was the only play he really had in his book. Because you have to make a play to try and open something up on the map. And that, that was just a fair play. Nice attempt. Early enough so it doesn't unravel. 20 seconds left here for Betboom to make their final maneuver towards this A bomb site or sprint that Going bomb back to, back to B. And that's exactly what has happened. Chiron's got it on his back, sprinting up into the B bomb site. He has to start planting it real soon. 10 seconds on that clock. Eyes on the B play. Chiron locks it in, and Danis is pushed up through the CT smoke. Three players are occupied at the A bomb site, though. Siren pulled so many over, and look at the advanced position from Danis. This could shut it all down. Great headshot. Trying to fall back, and Major's just off the mark to spam. He's going to get safely in. Si Siren adds on top of it, and this round's all bet boom. It's all Danis as well. He just makes that play through B, creates the space, but it looks like they're about to get stalled out at the A site and taken out. Danis decides to make a last-ditch effort through the B-bomb site and realizes they've got so much space to play with. Yeah, yeah, Major was even sticking around in middle. I mean, he actually... Now the B-pounce, the B-play. It's Chiron who senses damage, sees the player on default, and now sprinting forward. Major's confused, discombobulated, and now da Danis oh, dies to a piece of utility or did he fall off the map? I didn't quite notice. <laughs> I think he fell off the map. I didn't see it either, though. I'm kind of wondering how it exactly had happened. But still, that boom providing a lot of pressure. It's Kallax to push forward, but he's alone. Him against the world against two, and Siren eventually puts him down. Yeah, Zorte and Siren, they, they have a 2v3 ahead of them. It actually looks somewhat doable. Now, the problem is they it's uncomfortable plant. to plant. Yeah, and even if they immediately start tapping out, those grenades will be pulled. And Siren realizes you've got to go and draw those numbers back to an even odds. But those nades, remember, they're still alive on the last two players. They toss them in. Bang, bang, Siren's dead. And Zorte now in the clutch. He's got one bullet in the chamber. So as soon as he takes one, he'll have to reload behind the wall. And he spots the player crossing. Doesn't take the shot. Has to be sparing with the rifle. Oh, my God. Woxic. Kallax is two and three. I think he's just bored. He's like, I want to I wanna have a little bit of fun. Yeah, let me get involved in this. And, well, he finally is involved. It's instant death on two players. They couldn't quite figure out where that shot was coming from. So Dax was still committing to utility. And Kallax walks away with two. And that's the round done. And Siren on the ramps. Gets the opportunity to have the 1v1 fight against Kallax. He hasn't got the bomb in his back. Has no time. The best chance for him in this round is to slip behind the smoke. He's just thrown out and try and save the AK. And time for the rotation to come in. Nice shot from Kallax. Madro and Wilkadia chiming in together. And now it's just Chiron and Zorte. Betpum unable to capitalize on any chances. Unable to fight against Eternal Fire's might. Yeah, stick a fork in it, baby. This one's done. And a play's gonna come in, and Madra's just got all the info that there's no one on the ramp. They're going back into the A play, so Woxic is on high alert. He takes that kill on Nafany. And Woxic's moving forward towards short side now. Has to get his gun out, has to be looking in the right direction at the right time. And he is, Sorte's gone, Siren trades. And now Bet Boom have a last ditch effort to get in towards the site. 2v3 established off the back of those skirmishes and limited time left, 15 seconds. Danist spotting out the head of Madger jumping up, and that's a fake plan to draw final pieces of utility. Now Siren goes for the plan, can't stick it, shots come in. Madger and Kallax collapse upon Betboom, and they are collapsing here with the RMRs. Fine work with the 5v5. Danist, he's going to fall to Woxic, a change up. They, they've seen the Betboom. Have they put a little bit more pressure towards B, so Woxic decides to take a spawn over towards the B stairs and it's paid off. So it's a 5v4 favoring Eternal Fire right now. We'll get that HUD back online for you in just a moment, but that kill from Chiron, that establishes of the round, but now that is not a reality we're going to be living with. Shot from Siren is good at the end, at least pass the stats, but Eternal Fire once again comfortable. And it's three players from Eternal Fire still alive, and they're all coming in that retake through CT. So Madra goes to try and deny the bomb plant, or at least soften up the planter. I imagine damage was done to the planter around half health. Yeah, that nade was pretty solid. However, this position with the AWP can be so strong from Zorzi. Flashbangs going deep just to stall out this retake as long as possible. Bet Boom desperate for this last round of the first half. Flashbang doesn't affect Zorzi's AWP. He stays poised, Ooh. flicks up, and narrowly misses. Yeah, he goes for that flick, doesn't connect it. And again, three players alive for Eternal Fire, all moving in now. And that's an elevator stand from Nafany. He could be an absolute menace if he comes around the backside here. Needs to step up. The defuse is coming through. Kallax sticking it all the way. Nafany doesn't get there. 
Oh, and a horrible round to close the half. It looks actually because Dennis has moved into position, he's actually alerted them to Siren instantly. So one for one trade, the dual Beretta stay alive, and Siren's trying to get away, and he will. Yeah, because of that push too, they didn't have to fully commit. You, you could see Siren had to swing out with those duelies to be able to help out and find a kill, and the rest of uh, the rest of Eternal Fire just backs away. They realize that we don't want to mess with any kind of aggressive B defense. It's brought Calix very low, so he'll chuck out utility for the squad. Naphne with the headshot ready to oh, go, but Wox is so tucked in the corner. Oh, he's going to take this headshot. No problem. Now moves into middle. Eternal Fire have every advantage they want. And oh, damage done on Siren. So it has to step up. It's quick on the Julies. His teammate at Chiron cannot Damn. make up for it either. And it's Wicardia that comes back in, cutting through those remaining members of Bet Boom. Zorte got them a player advantage, and it was short lived. And now Siren, who's been damaged up down to it health, is removed. It's one round away now for Eternal Fire. But the superiority in weapons for Eternal Fire still evident. But we know what SMGs can do. Swinging around the corner. Major shows us what that Mac 10 can do. Kills coming through. Anthony and Dennis set up in a 2v2 as Wakati is spamming towards the back of the bomb site. They're just searching for the final two kills to confirm their spot in Copenhagen. And Beth Boom aren't making it easy for them. They're not just lying over, they're not going down without a fight. And Wakati is still inside of the site smoke. No one from Bat Boom overextending. They could be so patient though. Ooh, Arcadia taps the bomb, looking to lure him out into the open. Nate comes in and still just waiting for an ill-advised peek from the Bat Boom players. Walks it, points up. Now just one kill between them and Copenhagen. And Nafany knows he's got to know. It's not his day. They'll be down to the last chance qualifier, but Eternal Fire moved through to the major. Matcher, he is so happy. He'll let out a sound of celebration. And for Turkey, they have a team to be proud of. They have a team that can fight with the Titans, and they are going to do it in Copenhagen.